Yes, in general. In general. You can generalize everybody. God generalize everybody. I'm a white guy. But you know why? I'm Muslim. But watch I'm this. Hello. I'm Muslim. Hello. I don't need to lie. Wait, wait, wait. Like, I'm it's okay. I'm black man. You're a slave. I drink this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's wrong. Watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 32 17. Let me show you something about out there. The people that you enslaved and colonized, let me tell you something. Oh, and all you Europeans are listening good. You've enslaved the Israelites. The sons and daughters of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You ain't realized that yet. But in these last days, you're going to realize you made a fatal mistake. You made the worst mistake your people have ever did in earth. You enslaved God's chosen people. You've mocked us and brought, broken us down. You're going you're gonna to rue the day you took, and I'm going to read that in the Bible. What is the judgment for slavery, according to God? I don't know, let's ask some white people. Here we have two lovely white men right here. What is God's judgment on slavery? Mm, he said he don't know, probably death. What do you say? I don't know. I think it doesn't Oh, it doesn't say anything about it. Give me that, Exodus 21. Wait, let me, what do you think God's judgment is for slavery? Your judgment? No, God's judgment, the Bible, what it said. Do the same. Do the same. Okay, what do you think it said? You have no idea. You brother from that go, wow, what do you think it said? What is God's judgment for slavery? Huh? Again? Okay? Let's get that. You got it for me? Tell them where we're reading. Wait, where my two white friends go? Oh, they ran down the street. What the hell is this? You know what? Think about white people. Y'all don't like ju true justice and judgment. Y'all hate that thing. Watch this. And we're going to talk about Syria in a moment. Why is America in Syria? We're going to talk about it in a minute. I hope so. The book of Exodus, chapter 21 and verse 16. And he that stealeth a man, he that stealeth a man, and selleth him, and sells him, or if he be found in his hand, or if we're still found in your hands, he shall surely be put to death. What? He shall surely be put to death. No, that ain't the Bible. He shall surely be put to death. All you people that say you believe in God, you now you're hearing the judgment on slavery. You're going to rule the day and realize you've never believed on the God of the Bible. Never. Not one of you. Now let me show you what Jesus Christ said about slavery. Revelation 13, verse 9 and 10. I want all of you, listen good. Because we're not speaking our own words, we're speaking the words of the Bible. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. If any man have an ear, have it, listen good. He that leadeth into captivity, he that leadeth into captivity, that means slavery, shall go into captivity, shall go into captivity. That's right. He that killeth with the sword, he that killeth with the sword, must be killed with the sword. Must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saint. Here is the patience and the faith of the saint. Hallelujah. Now you're going to say you don't believe in the Bible no more, right? All the Christians have to leave. Why? Because you've been brainwashed by these false Christian churches out here. Every last one of you. Now why is America in Syria? America lying, talk about, oh, Assad bombed their own people with chemical. That's a lie. America wants the oil. America wants the resources. That's why they're there. And I'm going to give you the back of chapter two. You ain't seen no terrorism yet, Germany, but you're going to see it. And I'm going to read it from the word of God. Habakkuk chapter 2, let's start at verse 5. Hello. You ain't learned no Bible yet, today you're going to learn the Bible. This is the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 5. Ye also, because you transgress by wine. Yea, also because you transgress by wine. When you read the Bible, the word wine is a metaphor for lies. What are the lies you live by? Politics and religion. Read. He is a, a proud man. Who is the he that is a proud man? Think of all the nations on earth. Who is the proudest that says, who can conquer me? You. You so-called Europeans. You're the proud man. You're the proudest people on earth. Why? Because you enslaved the inhabitants. You steal their resources. You raped them, our mothers, our fathers, and stolen our lands and countries. That's why you're the proudest. We are, I'm about to prove who we are too. We don't. Neither keep us at home. Neither keep us at home. What nation is everyone on earth waging war? The United States of America. 
in 2016 under Barack Hussein Obama. They dropped seven bombs on seven nations. We don't. Who enlarged this desire as hell? Don't leave this white woman. This is for you. I want all you to stick close and listen. Read it again. Who enlarged his desire as hell? Who enlarges your desires as hell? And it's as death. And following your politics and your Christian religion is as death. Read. And cannot be satisfied. You cannot be satisfied. You know, they said without Africa, France and the European nations would be a third world countries. That's right. Without the resources of Africa. And you're still there now. Read. But gathered unto him. All nations. What does this proud man do? He gathered unto him all nations. He gathers unto himself all nations. What is that called? The great melting pot. America and Europe gathers to themselves all nations. Read. And he brought unto him all people. And he brought unto him all people when it comes to where Europeans are. Read. Shall not all these things take up a parable? Shall not all these people take up a parable against them? Against him? And twenty proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. Woe to him that increases that which is not his. How did Germany become increased? How has France become increased? How has America become increased? By stealing, robbing the resources around the world. What's the judgment for? How long? And to him that laid it himself with thick clay. Meaning all nations, read. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee? Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee? What is that talking about? When somebody rises up, rise up from sleep. That's what it's talking about. When you rise up from what? Sleep. There's something called, throughout Germany, throughout America, Europe, sleeper cells. Listen good to what it's saying. Read the verse again. Shall they not rise up suddenly? That shall bite thee, and awake that shall vex thee. And awake that shall vex thee. Well, awake from what? Sleep. These nations that you have destroyed, now they're coming to where Europeans are. And they live amongst you. The Bible says they shall wake and vex you. They shall wake and bite you. What is that talking about? It's a metaphor for terrorism. You didn't know that was in the Bible? It's been there since its conception. Read it again from verse 5 and read that quick. Wait, Isaac, read for me. I want everybody to understand what this is saying. Yea, also, because he transgresseth by what? His lies, his philosophies, and politics. He is a proud man. You white people are the proudest people on earth. Neither keepeth at home. And you don't keep home. You're in everybody's land stealing their resources. Read. Who enlargeth his desire as hell. You've enlarged all your empires and created hell on earth for other nations. And is as death. And anybody that follows your religion or your politics is like following death. Read. And cannot be satisfied. You white people cannot be satisfied. When you steal, you steal it all. That's right. I go to jail if I steal his wallet. But what's the judgment when they steal countries and people? No judgment for them. You wait till the Lord return. Come on. But gathered unto him all nations. Because once you destroy the nations, you say, come to America. Come to Europe. That's what you do. And heapeth unto him all people. And you bring all like here. You got all different nations. I see you here. Read. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. The Bible says, Woe to you. The word woe means destruction. Destruction to you that increaseth that which is not yours. Read. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. The thick clay is the people. Read. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee? All these nations that you've destroyed and are here in your, in your lands, shall they not rise up what? Shall rise up suddenly that shall bite thee. These nations shall rise up suddenly and bite you. That's talking about terrorism. They drive your cabs, some of them own your stores. They're all around saying, hi, Becky, hi. And they're plotting against you.